Where was I? Oh, yes. Your dad sees right through your costume. You don't know what you were even thinking with this foolish ruse. You unequip the clever disguise. Your dad wields a dreaded artifact of confection. He stands between you and the male. There is only one way to settle this. Strife. Huh. Huh. Aggrieve! <laughs> Auto pastry! Abjure! Don't strife! What does that say? Coddle brand! John, retrieve the package and flee to your room. You cannot abscond. This pesky guardian is blocking your path. You'll need to engineer some sort of distraction. And now he brandishes yet another artifact of confection. The man is ruthless. You'd better brace for impact in the most comedically striking fashion possible. Equip disguise for defense. The Beagle Aegis absorbs the brunt of the treat. Looks like Dad will enjoy the prankster's gambit on this exchange, as is usually the case. Capture log the Pi Ten. You take the pie tin and unequip the beagle puss. Everything in your Silidex is pushed back a card. The smoke pellets are ejected from the deck. Yes, this could be just the distraction you were. Nothing happens, but a huge letdown. Take the cake. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. Oscar Wilde. Wise words by a man who likely could resist everything but temptation. The cake forces Colonel Sassaker's text out of your Silidex. Sassaker, you beautiful bastard. Now is your chance. John, abscond. Now that Bet Dad is busy placating the smoke detector, you can safely sneak away. John, take the PDA. You snag your dad's PDA. Maybe later you'll switch the background image to something hilarious as a prank. Besides, it may come in handy later. You spare, your spare capture log card is forced out of the Silidex and can consequently integrated with the deck. You now have five cards to work with. John, take the package. This red package is addressed to you. Take the envelope. You get the spur beta. Exit kitchen. Get cake on couch. You capture log the cake on the couch, expelling the pie tin from the bottom card. John, combine the cakes to make a double-decker cake. You then merge the two cakes across all five cards. Everything in your Silidex is smushed between the cakes. Why don't you think these things through first? John, retreat upstairs. You pause at the juncture down the hall and head down the hall. You're going to need something to clean up the mess you're about to make by dissecting this cake. To the left is the bathroom. To the right is your dad's room. It is locked, and you are forbidden from ever entering. He has secrets. John, go to the bathroom and grab a towel. You enter the bathroom. You see the backyard from the, from the window. The jewel in its crown is the swing set, which has provided you with years of joy. There is also a spring-mounted pogo ride, which has been responsible for more than one painful injury, and has provided you with years of lament. On the sink is your dad's razor. On the rack to the side is a fresh towel. John, remove PDA, envelope, and packaging from cake. You take the razor and use it to perform surgery on the cake, and take the towel and clean off your extracted goods. John, retrieve your items. The items force the manhandled cake into the toilet, and just like that, your Silidex is full again. God, this thing is so annoying. Uh, John, go to bedroom. John, admire failure to launch poster. <laughs> You're not usually into chick flicks, but Matthew McConaughey's cool charisma could salvage any heap of smoldering wreckage. This is your McConaughey wall, a casual shrine to an amazing actor. The film above that one is a lot better, you think. Can you see her? I want you to picture that little girl. Now imagine she's white. You got us, Matthew. Your smooth talking exposed our latent racism. Damn, you're good. John, check Pester Chum. Garden Gnostic began pestering ectobiologist at 1634. Hi, happy birthday, John. Hello? Ooh, 
I will talk to you later. Okay, I will talk to you later. Turntech Godhead began pestering ectobiologist at 1640. Hey, Gigi's looking for you. Why are you even so why are you even so popular with all of a sudden? Is today some sort of special occasion or something? Did you do something to curry favor with the ladies? Did you break your leg on a puppy or some shit? Dude, what are you doing? I discovered a comet that's going to destroy the earth and it was named after me. Now I am famous and everyone wants to talk to me a lot. No, stop, just no. Don't talk about your awful stupid movies or make references to them. Your gross man bro crush on Matt McConaughey is an unsavory thing to behold. McConaughey. Sounds like a noise a horse would make. I.e. dumb. Equally dumb are all those pictures of that clown you've got hanging up. Those are my dad's. I was talking about Nick Cage. What? No, man. Cage is sweet. He's so sweet. <laughs> so lame. You don't even like him ironically or anything. This is like, for real, isn't it? <laughs> I do things ironically sometimes. What about what I sent to you for your birthday? No, those are awesome. What? N no, they're stupid. Which was the joke. The ironic joke, you get it? Wait, you're actually wearing them, aren't you? I'm wearing them ironically because they're awesome. The fact that they're ironic makes them awesome, and vice versa. Are you taking notes on how to be cool? Jesus, get a fucking pen, kid. You do realize they touch Stiller's weird sort of gaunt face at some point. Ugh, yeah. Oh, well, anyway, speaking of which, did you get the mail? Yeah. Did there happen to be a package there? Yeah, there's a big red one. You should probably open it. I would, but it's trapped under the spur beta, so I'll probably open it after I install it. Oh, man, the beta came? Yeah, you want to play? <laughs> no way. Why not? It sounds so hell's a boring. Just get TT to play it. She is all about that. Where'd she go? Your internet's blinking in and out, I guess. Probably be back online soon. Oh, and Christ in a sidecar. Are you still using the stack modus? Seriously, dude. You need to bone up on your data structures. That shit's just ridiculous. Okay, I will. And so Tentacle Therapist and Garden Gnostic are offline. Because they're not in the chum role. You decide to space out on the computer for a while before doing anything important. You open the Typhius web browser and direct it to what is indisputably the most amazing website ever created. The new adventure is okay, but you're not sure if you like it as much as the last one. John, install the Spur beta. You decide it's time for less meta and more beta. You insert the CD and install the Spur beta. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Skyonet Systems Incorporated, version 0.01. .01. All rights reserved. Spurb client is running, waiting for servers to establish. Waiting for server to establish connection. John, bone up on data structures. You go to your closet, where you keep a lot of clothes and an array of handy computer programming guides. John, read the data structures book. Data structures for assholes. I think my rage just crapped its pants. Funny Uncle by Buckminster Funny Uncle. Your ignorance just made me throw up a little. Get a clue, you computer illiterate piece of shit. Free fetch modus in back. You're not sure you really want to dig into this huge tome. It looks really boring and kind of ornery. Maybe you'll just check out that free modus instead. Get the free fetch modus. You turn to the back inside cover, where a free fetch modus is included in a plastic sleeve. This one is dictated by the logic of a queue data structure, operating on a first-in, first-out method, rather than first-in, last-out method of a stack. John, apply the fetch modus to Silidex. Items capture logged in your Silidex are no longer immediately accessible. You can only use the item on the bottom card and must wait for items on the upper cards to be pushed back to it. For instance, the red package is now inaccessible. You can only use the razor at the moment. This modus doesn't strike you as a significant upgrade of, from, to your previous one. In fact, it almost seems more inconvenient. You figure you might as well give it a chance, though. John, switch back to the stack modus. You suddenly wonder if this is even possible. You don't even remember if you ever had a physical card for the stack modus. You find this all to be a little abstract, and you'd prefer not to think about it too much. John, put down razor. Put it down you're not quite sure you understand john pick up two items you capture log one of the cakes you finally find a use for all these loitering pastries dead wait john get the other cake oh no 
The second kick causes the razor to launch out of the front of your Silidex. Oh, good lord, that beautiful face. You wish the razor would have failed to launch. John, get more stuff. You open your magic chest and capture log one of your favorite books of all time, Wise Guy by Mike Cavini. There goes the fresh towel. Might as well grab those cuffs. You take the trick handcuffs, expelling the PDA like a bullet. Oh, god damn it. John, open up that package. You examine the package. It's from one of your internet chums. It's bound in packing tape, though. You'll need something sharp to open it. Oh, of course, the razor. It's all so simple. You wonder why you didn't... John, get razor. John, pick a package again. Let's take this from the top. John, capture log glass shards. You take the glass shards in quick succession and duck for cover. Your Silidic rains devastation in your room from above. And now that your cards are packed with glass, you probably don't want to do that again anytime soon. You should probably get that stuff before you forget about it. John, use the razor on the red package. You open the package. There's something suspicious inside. Something suspiciously dirty and smelly. It's a stuffed bunny, much like the one held hostage. Jesus Christ. Don't move or the bunny gets it. Briefly by Malkovich's Cyrus the Virus, while taunting hard luck protagonist Cameron Poe, and strikingly similar to the one scooped up from the soot of a burning Vegas strip by Cage's Poe and offered to his daughter, a gesture symbolic of a tattered exterior surrounding a heart of gold. Poe wasn't much to look at, but he was a good man. But no, it's not merely like that bunny. According to this note of authenticity, it is the very same bunny. This is so awesome. John, check the status of the spur beta. Looks like your computer is trying to get your attention. John, look at the monitor. A spur host user is attempting to connect with you. Client has established connection with host. Press enter when ready. John, check pester chum window. It looks like you managed to retrieve the beta. Excellent. I'm going to try to connect. Whoa, okay, but I just got the most awesome present. The rabbit. So sweet. I've heard tales of this wretched creature often. Its Homeric legend is practically ensconced in the fold of my personal mythology by now. <laughs> what? Why don't we focus on the matter at hand? Oh, the game. Okay. I don't really know how this works. What am I even looking at here? You're running the client application. I am running the server, so I am the host user. I have established a connection with you. This is sufficient for us to play the game. Oh, okay then. Why don't we get started? Oh, pardon me. Why don't we get started? John, press enter. Oh, mother of God. Michael Guy Bowman. I wonder what that guy is doing these days. Mouse over the interface buttons. So I can select things, revise, deploy, the Fernalia registry, the Grist Cache, the Explore Athenium, and the Alchemy, Alchemy Excursus. TT, select magic chest. TT, zoom out. TT, drop chest. Whoa, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm just getting a feel for the controls. Is my magic chest on the roof now? Yeah. I will try to be more careful next time. John, get the card. 
you find your missing stack fetch modus and quickly reapply it to your silly decks. You can now opt for either the stack or queue modus at any time. You toggle between the fetch modi with gleeful abandon. It looks like your dad's leaving again for more baking supplies. You're relieved to have the house to yourself again, if only for a few minutes. You just hope he doesn't notice the magic chest on the roof, or all that shit you threw out the window for that matter. TT selects stuff in yard and moves back into room. Hey, you think you can do me a favor? Can you grab all that stuff outside my broken window and bring it in for me? I'll give it a shot. Thanks. No luck. It appears to be out of range. I'm guessing it's too far away from you, the player. Select John. You cannot select a player. John abjures the meddlesome cursor. TT, select bunny. TT, put the bunny back in the box. TT, revise the room. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Open Fernalia Registry. TT, deploy the totem lathe. John, examine the totem lathe. You don't know what the heck this thing does, but it looks pretty neat. TT, open the grist cache. It seems expanding the dimensions of your room cost us some build grist, but deploying the lathe did not appear to incur any expense. It looks like certain objects are freebies, probably to help you set up the game. Wow, okay, what do they do? I think it's up for you to find that out. All I can do is drop stuff in your house and move it around, apparently. Well, how do I move stuff around? It sounds fun. I don't think you can, you can as the client. You will need to install the server application. You should have received both in separate envelopes. I'm running both on my computer right now. What? Did you get another envelope in the mail? No. Well, once you install the server and establish a connection, I'm sure you'll be able to manipulate my environment in the same manner. Are you sure you didn't get it? Oh man, I think I might know where it is. Now that your room is bigger. Oh god, fucking Harlequin rearview mirror ornament. Now that your room is bigger, why don't you move to the far corner? It will extend the range of the cursor, and I can reach the items. Which you threw out the window for some reason. Good idea. What have you been doing in here all afternoon anyway? I was fussing with my stupid Silidex, but I think I have it under control now. What modus do you use? I like to use trees. Oh no, that sounds so awkward. It's not exceptionally practical, but I think they're just elegant. John, stand in the corner. Hell yeah. Mike Cavini book and uh, PDA retrieved. 